Hello everyone, welcome back to the After Dark. I am Rayron. Today we've got another manga spotlight. Today we're looking at the Blue Period manga book. Um, honestly, when I picked this up from the bookstore, I wasn't sure what I was going to expect. You know, I was kind of read the uh, the excerpt here and looking at the front cover, so it looks like I had to do something with painting. But you know, I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting myself into. But um, so the whole premise of the story is that we follow this individual. His name is uh, Yatora Yaguchi. I'm probably butchering the crap out of it. But um, the whole premise behind this is that you've got this individual who is really smart when he goes through his school systems. And, you know, he's got the best grades in class. He's got the whole world open to him. And, you know, it comes with the decision that you know, he's under the Japan system and... Um, he has to figure out what he wants to do for a career. And, you know, with all the good grades, he can go basically anywhere. But he was more fascinated into getting into the career field of art. So, you know, he felt that doing arts, doing paintings and drawings and so forth, it felt like that was his passion, his calling a little bit. But uh, when he tries to do so, um, there are other people, other students in his classes that are a lot better than he is. So that's kind of the whole premise that you have this individual, you know, he just wasn't happy with the path that he was going at. And so, you know, he finds this passion for painting. And some of his friends kind of mocks him a little bit because, like, he's getting all these good grades. You know, why can't he just do like what everyone else is doing, try to get a normal job because he's got good grades? But, um, you know, it all comes down to what, you know, in a nutshell, it comes down to that, he you know, it didn't feel a spark. He wasn't passionate for what he was doing. And so that's why when uh, he started to take up the art career field, he was getting more passionate. And, you know, this book doesn't really have an antagonist. It's more of a journey that you take of an interesting perspective because... You know, this really isn't my normal forte when it comes to stories. However, I can relate to this a lot because, you know, in this day and age, we always keep telling other people that, oh, you should get a normal job. You should follow the path that everyone else does. You should do, you know, the typical system, go to college and everything. But sometimes, you know, you may be good at this thing, but are you doing it for the sake of a job? Or are you doing it because you love it? And that's kind of the story that is unfolding here is that, you know, he's finding this passion and, you know, he takes a big risk into going into the art career field because it is expensive. It does take time. You have to learn all the disciplines of going through art. And one thing that kind of, one thing, one thing that's really good about this book is that they actually go into um, some very bare basic, bare boned um, terminology when it comes to actually painting. They actually teach the character the difference of oil painting and using pencils and chalk and so forth and it's like that's stuff that I learned from my hobbies and it's like this is one of the rare times that the things that happen in my life I can actually correlate with this and actually enjoy it uh, sorry about that but um, as I was saying this particular book is interesting because you follow a character that doesn't go down the normal beaten path so if you if you like watching an individual character go through a different path than the normal, I think you guys will actually like this. This is not like there's nothing supernatural about anything. Everything's kind of, you know, laid back and you just follow this character as he discovers a new path and a new career field and uh, I actually kind of enjoyed it the more I think about it. So it definitely has an interesting message. There is one character in here though that um I don't want to say as woke. It's just more as depiction and everything, and that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But um, there's not. It's only for a couple pages that are like that. Couple of um, scenic uh, outlines of that. But yeah, I enjoyed it. So if you like just following a person in his path towards his passion, then yeah, I would definitely recommend it. But uh, if you're not into that stuff, then maybe you know try a different manga. But uh, with that, guys, that is my quick snapshot of the Blue Period, Volume 1. With that, take it easy, guys.